All right, today we're gonna look at replacing the trigger spring for the HFC kind of style M9. So the slide, we don't need that. Take off these grips. We got that one removed and take off, take out the magazine release. Then take off the grip on the other side. All right, next you want to take off this lever here. Be careful not to lose your spring. It should just pop right out. Then go to the other side and get the slide catch. Again, don't lose the spring. Oh, you got to push this in. Flip this all the way around and then this should pop out and then this will pop out so now it's a little loose here and you'll next you want to remove this screw next you'll want to remove this top metal pin here. It should be pretty easy to come out. If it doesn't, get some type of a punch. Or you can use pliers. And then this should just slide right out. With the trigger. There you go. And that's what your lower will look like. You want to get another one. That's how you replace that. All right. Next comes the fun part. And by fun, I mean pain in the ass. So you want to remove these four screws. These ones are very tiny. These ones are pretty big though. You should be able to remove them pretty easily. Now when I originally did this, these screws were really loose. And I don't know if that's just because over time or if they came like that from the factory since I have owned this pistol for about three years and never taken it apart. And if you can't get these out, another tool to have handy is a magnet. There you go. Alright, now this is spring loaded. There's a spring, lots of springs in here. So this should pop out, there it goes. The spring. I don't know what any of these parts are called. But you can see what they look like. The spring actually rides, I believe it's this way, but it goes in here into this part. But I'll show that when I put it together. Now, this will come off too. This is what the inside looks like. Now the spring that would be broken that this is fix is to repair is this spring right here. Which, depending on your gun, is just sitting there on top. So, if yours is broken it won't look like this, but if you have a new one, let's see if it'll focus. It should look like that. This is the new one. 
been in here for about two weeks now. So. so that, take out the broken one, get your new one. Pretty much drops right in on top. By the way, the trigger is just sitting on top of that metal bar there. So trigger goes in, trigger spring goes in on top. Alright, so that way it is easier. And there you go. So that'll be a new one. No. Alright, what you're gonna do next is reassemble everything. Alright. So, trigger springs in, now the tricky part begins, trying to put everything back together with getting the springs in the right places. Alright, on your trigger, or your hammer, sorry, I don't know if the camera will pick this up, there's a little spring here, this little nub sticking out, right there. That has to go inside that little square here. So, it goes in, sort of like, yeah, and this will lock it. This little silver part locks the hammer back. But you gotta line up that part of the spring inside that tiny square while fighting the lock. What I found works is stick the bottom end in, then get the spring top in, and it should be okay. Make sure you don't lose any of the other pieces either. That should be okay. Alright, and then this is going on top here, so this little nub piece, the raised part, rides inside that groove. Right, it's just like that. And this little cutout piece will go into this cutout piece. So, I found this, this spring that goes under here actually is a lot easier to install afterwards. So this top part here will go in that groove there. And this little nub will line up there. That's what I'm hoping for, anyway. Wow. Anyway. Back to... Putting this shit together. Fun, fun, fun. Actually, let's try it that way. Hold down. Hey. And then it has to go through there. There it goes. Alright. So then this goes. This groove. Like so. Should be pretty good. Alright, now you're going to want to obviously test this because if one of those springs is not where it's supposed to be or it's not, it's not in the little hole or whatever it's called, then your trigger will not work. It won't hit the gas release valve on the magazine. And that's what this little nub on that thing does. Oh, there it goes. Snap it together, snap it together. All those fails, snap it together. So I just put on those two screens, so, uh, screws so far. And this thing locks the trigger from moving. So flip that up, push your trigger forward, and that should be that. That should be there. So when you pull it back, that'll be receded. And this is under spring tension, so if you release this, this should slide forward and hit the gas release valve on the mag. 
like that. So this is the part that hits the magazine. So when you pull the trigger, that happens. All right, everything's working. A lot smoother than sometimes it goes. But hey, that's what happens. So all screws go back the way they're supposed to be. They don't have to be absurdly tight. Like I said, when I got it, it was loose. My gun works fine. Had it forever. It's a great pistol. Magazine works as well. So anyway, there you go. Replacing the trigger spring. It should work. Should be a lot of tension under that. So, to install back in your gun, pretty simple. All right, so I zoomed out so you could see a little better. To put inside the lower, this thing. I don't know if you could pick up that spring way down there. But that's where this little lever goes. Inside there, the trigger has to, of course, go in. The it's a little space. Of course it would work if I had actually watched what I was doing instead of the camera. So that goes in there, that goes in there. Oh, watch my fingers. There it goes. So now it's in the spring. And as you can see, it's under spring tension. So, in order to kind of help it out, I put this big ass screw back in there. And this little pin, kind of like an M4, I guess. The little, everybody loves their pins. Place the slide catch. Actually, let's do this part first. It goes in there. Push it all the way in. Put this in, and it should snap back in. There you go. And it should work just like normal. Awesome. So, put everything back, everything back. I forgot how this goes. There we go. Okay, so it goes that way. That way with that little groove cut out. And then this should fit in that little groove. There you go. Spring works that one. I'm sure there's different ways to put everything back together. This was just the way I ended up doing it. And to push it up. Perfect. Put this one back, of course. Of course. It's funny, this little spring and your gun will not work. No, of course. This thing. Flip the back Uba. Everybody's yelling at me to put the mag release inside. Oops. This way. Ah! Something like that. Come on. Alright. Sweet. Put your grips back on. I need better grips. These have seen too many uses. Too much use. Nope. You want to go wherever you want to go. Of course, test. See that little nub? Must activate the magazine. go put your slide back on and there you have it placing your trigger trigger spring <laughs>